Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at how to calibrate uh, an eyepiece graticule in a microscope and we're also going to make sure we understand why we have to do this. Okay, so if you look down a microscope, so here we can see this is the field of view and if you have an eyepiece graticule then it looks like this. So an eyepiece graticle is basically a scale which is actually built into the eyepiece itself and we can use this scale to help us measure things. So if, for example, we put an object um, on our stage, uh, the stage of our microscope, so here we're looking at a cell, and here you can see the eyepiece graticule scale. So we can see from this that our object is one unit in length, but at the moment we don't know what that unit is, is measured in. Um, so we need to find out. Now if we decide that we want to look at this object under a higher magnification, so we um, move the objective lens around, then we see that it looks like this. Now as you can see the object looks bigger because it's been magnified compared to what it looked like here, but if you have a look at the eyepiece graticule scale it's the same. And that's because the eyepiece graticule scale, as I said, is actually in the eyepiece itself, whereas the objective lenses are beneath the eyepiece graticule. So when you increase the magnification by changing the objective lens, the eyepiece graticle, graticule, which is above the objective lens, doesn't get magnified, but anything that's on the stage does. So this object obviously hasn't got bigger, so if we say that this is looking at it using a four times objective lens, so that would be a total magnification of times 40. If we look at it under a total magnification of times 100, um, the object itself isn't bigger, it hasn't grown, it just looks bigger because we've magnified it. So now we can see that one unit on our eyepiece graticule doesn't always equal, for example, one millimetre, because Oops, sorry. Because in this example here, the amount that each unit is worth is obviously different to the amount that each unit is worth here. So this means that we have to work out for each objective lens what one unit is worth. So how many millimetres is one unit, one unit on the eyepiece graticule worth if we look at it uh, with a times four objective lens and what is one unit on the eyepiece graticule worth if we look at it under the times ten objective lens. So the way that we do that is we use a stage micrometer and a stage micrometer is basically like a special ruler for a microscope. So what you can see here, this is a glass slide that you would put on the stage and then in the middle of the glass slide it's obviously very very small because you're going to look at it under the microscope but this tiny thing here that's like a little dot is our micrometer and you can see a bit like the graticule it's a scale but the difference is that we know exactly um, how far the distance is between each division and we know that 0 0.1 millimeters is how far it is from one of these big divisions to the next. So this is 0 0.1 millimetres, another 0 0.1 millimetres, another 0 0.1 millimetres. And each 0 0.1 millimetres is divided into 10 small divisions, so each of those is 0 0.01 millimetres or 10 micrometres. Because you put this on the stage, that means that whenever you increase the magnification, you are also going to increase the magnification of this. So what that means, if you were to look, for example, under, um, let's say this time, a 10 times objective lens, so here is our eyepiece graticule, this is our stage micrometer. If we increase the magnification, as we've seen when we looked at the, uh, the cell originally, we can see that the eyepiece graticule looks the same as it did over here but we can see that because the stage micrometer is on the stage and therefore has been magnified, the spaces between the divisions on the stage micrometer look 
bigger. But the important thing is that even though the distance here looks bigger, we know that it's the same as the distance here. So if we take this big division here, this is 0 0.1 millimetres. And if we look at the smaller objective lens, the lower magnification, this is always also 0 0.1 millimetres. So it looks like it's longer here, but it's not. It's the same distance. And that's what's so important about using a stage micrometer. OK, so we know that we need to work out on our IP squareticule. We need to know what each of these divisions is worth in millimetres or micrometers. So the red bit here, this is our stage micrometer. So we know that this distance is 0 0.1 millimetres. I want to know what this distance is in millimetres on my IP squareticule. So the first thing you have to do is you have to line them up. And you line them up so that the left hand division on both scales is next to each other. And then you just have to find um, any other two divisions which are perfectly lined up with each other. So these two look quite lined up here, um, but because that's so close, I'm going to go further along just to try and be a little bit more accurate. You can use the small divisions or you can use the big divisions, but if you look here, they're not quite um, in line. This one here, it's not in line. It's also not quite in line with that one. And we actually have to go all the way to the end here until you see that this 10 mark on our IP squareticule is in line here with this division on our stage micrometer. So that means that 10 IP squareticule units is worth 0 0.99 millimetres. So from that we can work out what one IP squareticule unit is worth and then we can convert that into micrometers. So we have now calibrated our microscope for this particular magnification. So if we say that this example here shows us the magnification using the four times objective lens, our pieces are 10 times. So the total magnification here is times 40. So that means that a times 40 magnification, one IP squareticle unit is worth 99.9 .9 micrometers. Now you might think, well, hang on, I mean that's really close. You know, 10 units and 0 0.9. You know, do we? Does it really matter? Yes, it does. You have to be very precise. So, because we now know what each division on our IP squareticule is worth, we can now measure things like our little cell here. But we don't need the stage micrometer as long as you're using the same microscope with the same eyepiece lens. Um, and the same magnification that you've calibrated, you can just use your eyepiece graticule. So if I'm going to measure this cell, first of all, I probably want to uh, just move around a little bit so that it's nicely lined up. And I can see that this cell is actually very conveniently um, one eyepiece graticule unit long. Because I've already worked out how much one IP squareticle unit is worth in micrometers, I know, therefore, that this cell is 99.9 .9 micrometers in length. OK, so now we've got to do the same thing, but with our other objective lens. Now, if our objective lens is going from, or if, sorry, the total magnification is going from times 40 to times 100, then the magnification is increased by 2.5. But we still need to calibrate it properly because our lenses might not have a perfect magnification. So you can't just do a simple multiplication or division. So what you can see here, this is looking at um, our eyepiece graticule. And here is our now magnified stage micrometer in red. I'm going to take this length here to work out um, my calibration. The reason I've done that, so again, what I've done is I've lined up the very left-hand side. Now, you can see, because it's been magnified, this division here on the stage micrometer is quite wide. So it's important that I start in the same place. So if I start on the very left-hand side here, where they're lined up, 
I'm going to go all the way across to the left hand side here so the same place and I can see that this is lined up here with this division which is 2.6 eyepiece graticle units okay one two two point six I didn't have to do that okay so I've taken one um, stage micrometer division because it lines up there quite nicely remember it doesn't matter as long as the two divisions on the two scales line up you'll still get the same answer so because this is a stage micrometer I know this is 0 0.1 millimeters so 2.6 eyepiece graticle units is worth 0 0.1 millimeters at this magnification so therefore one eyepiece graticle unit if we divide if we take 0 0.1 and divide it by 2.6 we get 0 0.038 millimetres, which means we have 38.46 micrometres. So we've now calibrated our scale, so uh, yeah, we've cal calibrated our eyepiece graticule scale at this magnification. So this is a total magnification here of uh, times 100. So again, we can now measure our cell. So I'm looking at the same cell here. Uh, this is the same cell just magnified so of course we would expect that it's the same size so if we measure it now we should find that the length that we measure it at using our eyepiece graticule gives us a very similar answer to the length that we measured at the other magnification using the smaller objective lens so I've got here a length of my cell of um, 2.5 eyepiece graticle units. I've just calibrated already and I know that one eyepiece graticle unit is 38.46 micrometers. So if I multiply this by 2.5 that tells me that the length of my cell at this magnification here is 96.15 micrometers. So if you think back to the um, calculation we did at the other magnification when we had the smaller objective lens our calculation gave us a length of cell of 99.9 .9 micrometers so although it's not exactly the same it's pretty close so that's a good indication that we've done our calculations correct because of course the cell has not actually changed its actual length and that's what we're calculating we're calculating the actual length of the cell okay that's how you calibrate eyepiece graticules, that's why you calibrate them, and that's how to then use your calibrated graticule to calculate the length of objects at different magnifications. Thank you.